<sighs> you won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Dude. <gasps> Locked drawer. I'll stay here in case come back. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <laughs> Still super cute, though. Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. So young. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. How much more Irish can you be? Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. I saw Grandma. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Stephen listening to old school pop rock music. <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Stephen doesn't preach. Yeah, not much to see in here. <sighs> we have to get into that room before they come back. Yep, it's empty. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, 
I know I can't. What was Claire doing in that room? Maybe she put the key in her pocket. What was she wearing yesterday? Clothes, old stuff, <sighs> definitely no hidden key. <sighs> I gotta find a way to open that door, or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. This whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Yes. I found one key, so... It better fit. Just try it. not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left? I'm sure everything's still there, like we left it. Okay. It's like she almost never used those. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... you... Hey, Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... The hero? I guess. So cool. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hmm. I can relate. Hi, Ulysses. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. I miss my skateboard. I'm going to the park with Lila. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. So, you huh. were a friend of my mommy's? Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. I hope she took good care of you. I miss my music. This playlist is boring as hell. When she went on trips? <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. I don't recognize any of these games. They're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Pen Paul sure loved listening to her own voice. <sighs> yeah, you finally left forever.
coward. Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. These pictures are so... random. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? These letters look pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to- No one ever told you that everything you say before our butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just gonna change around here if you wanna stay. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this... 
goddamn thing off me. Stephen, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel. Chris must be so mad at me. 
I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You saved his life. He... he thinks I'm a liar now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. You guys are the... spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Whoa, it's super cute. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard.
So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. I'll show you around. <laughs>